Hello everybody, look who is here. We're dog sitting again. It's absolute mayhem inside. <laughs> and I'm trying to go outside to talk to you guys. But I keep being distracted. But it is gorgeousness. Mr. George. Hey guys, I know it's been a while. I just about remember <laughs> how to use the camera. So yeah, I'm back on board. I have been on board on and off. Had a great summer, had loads of things that happened. I hope you also had a great summer and had loads of adventures. But yeah, I'm back on board, back to reality. And um, I'll take you guys through my day here what's going on there's a few things i need to do uh, first of all first of all you've just seen we are dog sitting what are you guys doing hello so susie and george are back on board they are back with us for a whole three weeks which is amazing the only problem is that they're so cute that it's really hard to get anything else done while, while they're here. So Susie is about two years old and George is 13, so he's the old one. This is, I think, the fourth time we have them over. So yeah, there's been a few things um, going on on Alba. Uh, first of all, we've done some painting, mostly outdoor painting. So we've repainted the roof and currently I'm working on the sides and the gunnels. So this week it's supposed to be dry week, although it did rain today for about five minutes. Hopefully that's it because it's a painting week and that will conclude the outside painting because this summer we've done the back deck, the roof and basically the sides. So she'll be mostly repainted. The sides don't really need to be done, so we'll leave them as they are. Also, I have an announcement to make at the end of this episode, so please keep watching and you'll find out some news. Hello everyone. Today we're going to a new place, having a new experience. So our new friend on a boat behind us is a golfer. Very good one apparently. I thought we were doing basketball. And so we're going to a driving range. Oh, I thought we were driving to the range. And gonna give a go at, gonna try golf. I've never done it before, so it should be interesting. There we go. I'm gonna be crying. Three months since last episode. Got our bats. How many balls do we need? We'll 40 each. Yeah. Do we need 40? Yeah. Should we get we'll start off with this we'll get. Alright, second attempt. I can normally pick them up after I've hit them. Marvellous. Don't you quack quack. Is it better without the sound? <laughs> We're building up something great here, I think, Marina. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it not going? You're hitting every time now. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey. This is Bella, everyone. She's 11. We're friends now. We're friends today. First impression. It's not what I expected of Snooker. Are you sweet, Bella? Oh, yeah, okay, I'm oh, sorry. Hello, Susie. You're having a good time here? You love love being on Alba? Hello, George. 
So he's a little bit blind and deaf. But he's even more adorable than he's ever been. So my sewing machine sits under this sofa. Our sofa's really good, it's got storage underneath, which is super handy as you know in a narrow boat. So that's where it lives, I'm gonna get it out. It's easy. <laughs> okay, nothing happened, no one's, no one's seen you fall. And then I'm gonna start sewing. But before I start sewing, I'm gonna show you guys uh, bread that I made yesterday. It looks amazing, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna have a little bit. So some of you who've been watching for a while know that I've tried to make bread before. A couple of years ago I had a sourdough going, but I've never managed to kind of nail it. So I've given up on the idea. And now I'm having this like second wave of inspiration. However, I am not using sourdough just yet, so I'm gonna try and find a perfect bread recipe that works that isn't sourdough, because it's quite a lot of maintenance. The one new thing that I do have is a Dutch oven, so I never had it before, and now I can bake in the Dutch oven. So let's have a look. Here it is. Amazing, amazing loaf. It's whole wheat. It's half and half whole wheat and white flour and the wheat is spelt look at that so many holes amazing i'm going to toast it put peanut butter on it and see how it tastes like so i'm going to put this bread in a fabric bag because that's the best way of storing it you can use a metal bin, but we, I don't have one, so... I might only need one, I don't know why I made two. The moment of truth. Yeah, it's really good. Salty enough. Tasty. Here's the jeans. I'm just going to do a black patch underneath. I think I'm going to change my tactic. It's not going to be patched. I think I'm just going to sew through it. I'll see how it goes. I'm not sure about this. Susie, do you want to help me to sew? Is that what you want to do? Because you can be very unhelpful, like distracting me. I need to get things done, Susie. Oh gosh. No, no, don't come here. Go over there. Come on, George, you can do it. Oh, here you are. Well done, good boy. Good boy. So I did need the purchase in the end. I did okay. It's not a best job, but it will last for a while. And it just looks like straight stitches. That should work. For now look at this beautiful beautiful friend of mine he's just so adorable he's got his tongue out all the time which is the cutest thing aren't you george we go for a walk and everyone was like oh is he a puppy no he's 13 you're an old man. So the sides here, the gunnels, are ready to go. Not the purple side, the white side that I'm going to be repainting. Um, I've used um, fur tan on them, which is a rust converter, which is great. So today, if it's going to be a dry day, I'm going to start painting. So the weather has improved. It's warm outside. It's not raining. And that means that I can start painting the gunnels. Um, I'm going to paint it today with a roller. I'm going to use an undercoat paint, white undercoat paint. And the plan is to do two uh, layers of undercoat today and tomorrow and two layers of top coat. 
and then as soon as I'm doing layer three top coat then it's weather sealed which is great so I'm gonna have a coffee before I start to make it a little bit more interesting I am not very looking forward to it <sighs> painting is not my favorite I'm estimating um, two hours they will take me about two hours <laughs> One of the steps before painting I need to close this window and close it properly because yesterday I didn't and Susie saw me through the window and she was very upset and she was crying so it's best to keep it fully closed yeah no peeking no peeking look at you you've got a beard don't eat it you're a bed destroyer so I was going to start painting a few hours ago um, and then I realized that I need to leave Furtan, which is the rust converter for a minimum of 24 hours. So now it's been almost 24 hours. I am going to wipe it with a wet cloth and once this side is dry, I can start painting. Um, it's six o'clock now. Obviously it's gonna get colder, but it's not gonna drop below 10 degrees, which is important. And it's overcast, so hopefully it's not going to be too wet tonight. It says here to leave a uh, fair tan to work the surface for 24 hours at 20 degrees or 40 hours at low temperatures and then wipe off the loose black dust on the surface with a damp cloth or hose. So I wiped off the fair tan and I can start painting as um, as soon as it's dry I think I'll give it 10 minutes and step from the end and make my way towards the bow I'm gonna need to be readjusting the ropes a lot because there is a lot of plants and the bank is uneven so in some some places I can paint without the plants touching the gunnel since somewhere they're right up there so yeah We'll be doing a lot of rope readjusting, the same thing I did when I was prepping the surface. So my mom just rang me and I have realized that it's getting quite late, so I'm going to start painting. I do my best to paint before it gets dark. I think I only have about 45 minutes, so I will get cracking. It's day two of the painting today, so yesterday I only managed to paint a half of the length of the gunnels. Um, it got dark, the grass got wet and I thought it's not a good idea to be painting after dark. I've only got one and a half hours, so we'll see how much time, how much you can do uh, in that time. I have more time later on today, but again, getting into the evening maybe I should only paint during the lunchtime kind of hours, the warmest time of the day. So we'll see. All the painting that I'm doing is kind of below the, the ground line. So I don't know if you can see any of the work um, on camera. I am reaching down to paint. And also I don't want to touch the camera. So I probably won't film this bit. Hi. Good morning, guys. So this morning I went for a walk with Susie and George. I'm comfortable enough with her being off the lead and she comes back um, every time, although 
not straight away, but that she does come back. I feel that she knows where the edge of the field is and she hasn't been in the river yet. So hopefully she knows what she's doing. So anyway, I went for a walk. I was with George. George is on the lead because he is old. He can't see and hear very well. So anyway, she was running around in circles and then she comes back covered half of her body just covered in something black and smells really bad come here show me what happened what's with your back where have you been what have you been rubbing yourself against i'm gonna have to give you a you smell what's happened susie oh my goodness okay susie have a look at you what you covered in here what happened you smell really bad as well you can't come in no we're gonna have to wash you we're gonna have a bath outside awful smell so i took her home i've given her a wash but i don't have a dog shampoo so i've just given her a proper like a normal wash she's clean but she still stinks really badly so she's sleeping now so I'm gonna go to a dog shop in the village luckily there is one and we'll get some shampoo and then come home and give her another wash because she is very smelly I spoke with my friend Nick whose dog it is and she said that it's probably fox poo Okay, I'm back aboard the dog shampoo. Um, it says cleans, cleans fox poo, which is what I need. Organic chickpeas for me. Oh yeah, poop bags for the dogs. Ginger lemon, one of my favorite teas, and vanilla ribose, which is absolutely amazing as well. So I've got all the supplies. So I'm gonna give you a wash now, Susie. All right, you're clean now. Clean now. You're not gonna let me. You. No? Okay. George, you're next. She rubbed onto you. Come on, George. No. George's turn. No. Okay, Susie doesn't like it. George, get away. George, you don't care about it, do you? George. My gorgeous, look at you, all fluffy and clean. Fluffy and clean. And smell like a clean dog. <laughs> On the other hand, it's all wet. What do you think, Susie? What do you think about your morning routine? Do you think you smell amazing? So something I haven't shared with you guys is that in the last six years I have been doing energy healing and in the last 12 months I've been topping up my knowledge and practice and um, I've been studying with the School of Intuition and Healing. So now I would like to invite you for one-to-one -one healing sessions. I have a very limited amount of um, spaces available. So if you're interested, um, I'm going to leave the link below to my new Facebook page. That will be the easiest way to get in touch with me. And also, I will be running group meditations online. So if you are interested in that, also head to the Facebook page and get in touch with me that way. I will be sharing all announcements and all the timings in there. So if you want to know about the way I do healing and how it's going to be done, also get in touch with me directly. But all the healing sessions I do are um, online. So you can tune in from anywhere in the world. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know I haven't filmed in so long, but I should be back to semi-regular posting now. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.